today on X-Play. Cutscenes are pretty in Bon Kaitos. People get shot in GoldenEye Rogue Agent and Ghost Recon 2. And should Blix 2 be dropped in kitty litter? Find out, it's game time. any clothes when I introduce Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Huh. Okay, welcome to X-Play. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm uncomfortable. Did he just say that he was... <laughs> I don't want to think about it. On today's show, Blinks, the time-traveling cat returns, and even his time-sweeping abilities can't bring Tech TV back. Mm. But we have so much more than just time-traveling felines. We have Donkey Kong for the Game Boy Advance. We have a really weird announcer who's uh, Okay, sorry. We also have a gorgeous new game from Namco, the company that brought us Katamari Damashi. And we're gonna review Ghost Recon 2, the sequel to one of the most popular squad-based shooters on the market. And last but not least, we have a game that first-person shooter fans have been waiting years for, Goldeneye, Rogue Agent. See, this is a much-hyped title where you get to play as a Bond villain. So, was it worth the wait? Find out later in the show. But we begin with a game about a time-traveling cat. Yep, it's the sequel to 2002's Blinks the Time Sweeper. Here's our view of Blinks 2, Masters of Time and Space. Blinks 2, or as I like to call it, Return of the Gimmick, places you back in the improbable company of cats with vacuum cleaners who control time and keep it tidy. As before, you use your trusty sweeper to suck in nearby junk, then blow it back out as your primary weapon. Suck. Blow. Suck. Blow. You catching my drift here? Oh, Blinks, how you bore me. Let me count the ways. This time around, developer r jumps on the game design bandwagon by letting you play as the enemy. Instead of just being a time-sweeping cat, you're also a villainous time-stealing pig. As a member of the porcine Tom Tom gang, you'll plod through stealth moves swiped from other more successful franchises. Creep along this wall in Metal Gear Swine. Crack open this safe in Splinter Pig. Crawl on the ground. Ow, oh, who am I kidding? I've gone to Promise Keepers meetings that were more fun than this. Here's another trendy feature. Using an interface that redefines the word overkill, you can customize every aspect of your character's appearance. Unless you have the mental faculties of a flounder, this won't distract you from how bland a gameplay is. Nobody's ever gonna say, maybe I'll have more fun if I change his pants. Then there's the story, a deep yet subtle pastiche of shattered time crystals in the fate of the universe, or some such rot. And you won't believe how seriously they take it all. Time energy is vanishing across the universe. What? Check the mother computer. Roger that. You've got to be kidding me. What happens when we finish gathering the big crystal fragments? I'm unable to care. Finally, while some in-game advice can make things more fun, Links 2 feels like it was focus tested on shell-shocked retirees with scorching ADD. It's impossible to enjoy any momentum while playing because you're constantly interrupted by endless hints of patronizing instructions. Kids won't read them, adults don't need them. If anyone actually needs this much help, distract them with something shiny and take the controller away. Maybe if you love the first Blink, you might like the variety in this sequel. But if, like us, you thought the first game was merely passable, there's nothing in Blink's 2 to bring you back. Other games do everything you can find here, and do it better. So, Blink's 2, you see my problem? Does it suck? Does it blow? Does it matter? Huh? Ouch! Ah! A 2 out of 5. Turns out Blink's master of time and space, actually a master of the subpar. That's just like me. Well, know. at least it has cat customization. Oh yeah, the fans been waiting decades for a good cat customizing game. You know, now if we could only get a good dog import tuning game, I'm gonna put spinners on a Pomeranian. <laughs> Blink's 2 just underwhelms on every level. 
and we didn't even like the first one to begin with. So why force a sequel on us? I mean, it's not like they would make a sequel to that crappy Tomb Raider movie that no one saw just to make a little more mo Oh. Mm, yes. Okay, well anyway, not all games mm. starring furry animals are horrible. Well, most are, but not Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Here's our review. So wait, are, are ninjas the new monkeys or is it the other way around? Is it pirates, pi pyrinishas, pronunkies? Oh, uh, whatever. I like pizza. Donkey Kong Country 2 is the GBA remake of a sequel that features both monkeys and pirates, which is either two times cool or cool squared. I can't remember how that works either. In a Riley self-aware script, Donkey Kong is trying to relax with a tasty coconut after his first adventure. Well, well, what do you think you're doing sitting around all day? They won't get much of a game out of this, will they? And all of a sudden, he's gorilla napped by alligator pirate Captain K. Rule and his hedge gators. You are never going to see your friends on DK Island again. <laughs> ah, this story's even worse than Donkey Kong Countries. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel this time. It's up to young Diddy and Dixie Kong to save their patriot. The precocious primates run, jump, swim, climb, and get shot out of a lot of barrels on their way through large, well-designed levels. Switch between the cheeky monkeys at will to use their special abilities. Diddy can cartwheel, and Dixie can glide using her oddly blonde helicopter hair. The extra character is also a backup. Go down, and your chip chum swings into vengeful action, and can even rejuvenate a lost little lemur by breaking a DK barrel. <laughs> Along for the right are a bizarre petting zoo of steeds, including a rhino, snake, and swordfish, all of which are faster and tougher than any orangutan alone. Together, they'll fling stuff. No, not that kind of stuff. These are sophisticated simians. They target a variety of pests, pirates, and big bosses. They can even compete for cash and prizes. Okay, one-ups and donkey coins with Gorilla Game Show host Swanky Kong. You clever little monkey! Some exclusive but so-so minigames were added to the GBA version. Expresso's racing is a clunky ostrich race. There's Funky's Flight, a half-hearted helicopter game, and there's Bagabug, where you collect stupid little red dots. I mean, insects. Decade-old cutting edge could be today's cut rate, but DKC2 still looks pretty decent on a GBA. Not quite as much fun as a barrel of bonobos, but mighty close. We give it a four out of five. We just showed poo in yep. that review. Poo. 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 Ah, yes. Up until now, it was a bad year for games with monkeys. Yeah, because Ape Escape, Pumped and Primed was uh, horrible. And, of course, it had a subtitle, Pumped and Primed. Yeah. So good. And Leisure Shoot Larry, Magna Cum Loud, had a monkey that was touching itself inappropriately. Yeah. We gave it a two out of five. That would be the game, not the touching. That was very good. Well, of course, Metal Gear Solid 3 has a monkey catching mini game, and we like that. But it also has a, you know, 40 minute cutscene. Well, well, here are some 30 second cutscenes. We like to call them commercials. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, I know. Coming up. Be honest. These people can't dress themselves. It is I, King Latipon. I'm coming up. Watch X Play with Adam and Morgan coming up next. I have to use the codes. BBA, BBA. I've seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles naked. L1, L1. Zelda naked. <laughs> left, left, left. Mario no pants. A B A B. R1, R1, R1. Lakers naked. Master Chief. Pittsburgh Steelers. Manchester United. But naked. R1, 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 R1. Get cheats and walk through strategies for Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. Don't worry, I'll get you over the hump. Cheat tomorrow night at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Hey, Bert, do you know what a ripe honeydew is supposed to sound like? Ah, the honeydew, the sweetest of all the melons. Jeffrey, don't shake them. Don't you knock them together? Don't worry, I'll just I am some people. You gotta listen for the tight, hollow sound. The new T-Mobile Sidekick 2 with phone, web, IM, and more. Shaking the honeydew, I won't do nothing but make you look stupid. Now for a limited time, get the new Sidekick 2 for just $199.99. Everybody needs a sidekick. Napster introduces Napster to Go, the world's first portable music subscription service. Fill your MP3 player with an unlimited number of songs for only $15 a month. Go to Napster.com now to try it for free.
New flavor charged dentine ice gives you a shot of icy cold breath. Give me a piece of that. Share it with somebody special. New flavor charged dentine ice. Go bold. Dude, that's cold. He's a cop. He's not. He who is without sin cast the first stone. It slipped. <laughs> but when five cheerleaders witness a murder, they're the only team. Nobody is trying to kill us. That can protect them. You girls are cheerleaders, huh? Back in my day, we brought it. Everybody now. Tommy Lee Jones, Man of the House, with Cedric the Entertainer. Now that's old school. Ready PG-13 <laughs> opens everywhere Friday. <laughs> Welcome to the Digital Animation and Visual Effects School. Welcome to the Dave School. Located on the back lot of Universal Studios Orlando, the Dave School offers an intensive one-year degree program in computer animation. Whether it's a stampeding T-Rex or an alien invasion, computers are pushing the boundaries of imagination. At the Dave School, you'll master this new technology to begin your career in computer animation. To get your free DVD, visit daveschool.com. Our next class begins April 4th. Rock on Cleveland! It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb! Huh. Welcome back to X-Play. So, we spent the first part of the show looking at games that have cute, cuddly animals. But if time-traveling cats aren't your thing, oh, no. guess what? The rest of the games on today's show are about shooting people. Except for the next game. Yeah. It comes to us from Namco, the people who gave the world Katamari Damashi. And it's a Carmel game. Yes. But it's also a GameCube exclusive, okay. so we'll give it a chance. Here's our review of Bot and Kaidos. Mm. I long right to my If there's anything that drums up more attention than a girl in a comic book store, it's an RPG on the GameCube. And an exclusive RPG on the GameCube? That's like running into someone who bought an N-Gage. It just doesn't happen. Unless you're talking about Bot and Kaitos, Eternal Wings, and The Lost Ocean. Bot and Kaidos features tons of utterly unoriginal RPG action. It's known as the pit of hell, my friends. Floating islands. Imperial soldiers. Uh, fire Ooh, first. fire beats water. Fire first. You know what would make this game so much better? Guard battle combat. <sighs> yes, everything in Bot and Kaidos is card driven. You've got to be kidding me. You have a deck of magical cards that suck the essence out of all kinds of objects. I want the essence of my time spent playing card battle games back. Along the way, you'll meet more than a few characters who swing on the tree of androgyny. It is I, King Latagon. I'm coming out. Bot and Kaidos has a certain sexual Japanese weird undercurrent thing going on. Harder! Harder! I'm gonna give you a beating with my cucumber? Harder! Harder. Oh, sorry guys, I'll come back later. And just when you think you got things figured out... Oh! What are those? But the card battle system is the best part of this game. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Because all of your weapons are stored on magical Magnus cards, combat is a little like poker, without any betting or drunk shouting. You won't be able to figure out the finer points of the combos, so don't try. Just match the spirit numbers and sometimes cool stuff happens. That's not what I was talking about. Thank you. Your hand is random, so if Lucky Jack ain't on your side, pray you've got a good chiropractor. Sorry, everyone. Cards are used for everything, including quest items and food. Items will age the longer you own them. Milk becomes yogurt. Yogurt becomes cheese. Aside from juiced up card fighting, Bat and Kaidos doesn't offer anything new. Sadly, the pretty graphics are just a bluff. Bat and Kaidos Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean shuffles up a three. Out of five. Ew, 
go away. Yeah, that, that looks like an outfit little Kim would wear. To think, this used to be a family show. Well, a dysfunctional family show. Manson family show. Team America does some world policing. And Ghost Recon 2. Observe. Nerds rope from Wonka. As much fun to play with as it is to eat. And vice versa. Nerds rope, nerds and nerds gumballs. Now that's a lot of nerds. I need fantasy baseball advice. Smell my age of cheese. Don't ask Alan Berger. Ask Jeeves and get what you're searching for. Hey, I'm Kevin. I know we've been waiting for you. Come on in. You've been missing the party. When you have a great host, getting set up is easy. Start a website with OLM.net and set up is quick and simple. So tell me about yourself. I, uh, Kevin has two older brothers, both married, two nieces, one nephew, all of whom he spoils, and his parents are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. His website has the highest sales in the U.S., and in his spare time, he volunteers to help homeless children. Wow. A great host is always there to support you, 24-7. And OLM.net is the web host with the most. So start your own website with web-based email. Store and share digital photos online. And 24-7 customer support with a real live person. All this for as little as $5.95 a month. With a great host, anything is possible. OLM.net. For this special price, go to OLM.net slash G4TechTV. Dragons, mages, orcs, wizards. The fate of their world lies in your remote control. Scourge of Worlds. A two-disc collector set with six different endings, over 20 decision points, hundreds of possible storylines, all in this interactive DVD collection. If they separate us, we die. Own Scourge of Worlds, a Dungeons & Dragons adventure on DVD today. Zing up your phone now with the hottest wallpapers from Zingy. Just text the keyword to 94649. On your cell phone, select messages. Go to create message and type in the keyword of the wallpaper you want. To get Kanye West, type in Kanye. To get Kronk, type in Kronk. To get Yellow Ribbon, type in Ribbon. To get Dollar Bills, type in Bills. To get Crazy Face, type in Crazy. To get Chihuahua Princess, type in Princess. Send the keyword to 94649 now and we'll send the wallpaper directly to your phone. For more info, go to Zingy.com. Watch X-Play with Adam and Morgan, coming up next. Check this out. This is what we do for a living. We're video game designers. And we're game programmers. With the training offered at Collins College, you can learn to design, code, and test games like this. And this. Game design is a growing career. For a brochure on a career in game design, call Collins College at 1-888-256-1200 now. That's 1-888-256-1200. Call Collins College now. If your computer is slowing down or crashing, you may already be infected and not even know it. Stop Sign is your best defense against threats to your computer and personal files. Don't become a statistic. Get Stop Sign Computer Protection Service right now. Go to stopsign.com slash free and click on free virus scan. Put the power of Stop Sign to work for you. If we can't cure your entire system, there's no charge. Guaranteed. Don't wait for the worst to happen. Get protected today. Go to www.stopsign.com slash free or call 1-800-STOP-SIGN. That's 1-800-STOP-SIGN. Or go to stopsign.com slash free. Go now. It's easy. Turn it up to 11 with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Ah, oh, so funny. I mm. like me. Welcome back to x -Play. Later in the show, we have our review of Goldeneye Rogue Agent. Why should you care? Okay, we have three reasons. Number one, it's the sequel to the first great first-person shooter for the consoles. Number two, you get to play as a Bond villain. Numero tres. Three words. Dame Judy Dench. What? But before the Bond action, we have the sequel to one of the most popular squad-based shooters to ever hit the consoles. And, surprise, surprise, it's another darn Tom Clancy game. Are the royalties from the books not enough for you, Tom? Clearly no, because Ghost Recon is back, and there are different versions of the game on the PS2 and on the Xbox. Because Tom wants to make more money. Here's a review of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2 for the Xbox. Judy. 
before we talk about Ghost Recon 2, I first want to address a certain matter about the title. Ghost. Like me in bed, I assume this is supposed to mean you go unnoticed. Apparently, though, you exhibit the subtlety of bear poo in the IBM clean room. Then there's recon. See, reconnaissance implies that you're gathering information. These guys aren't really gathering. They kill. Anyhow, it's not like that's different from the original Ghost Recon. Although, there are quite a few changes. Suppressive fire! This time, it takes place in the future, 2011 to be exact. And it's all inside a laugh-a-minute home of desperation, North Korea, which is slipping into civil war. Stay off the open runway. It's not clear who's running this land of starvation in the future, but if Kim Jong-il has had to move on, he'll do just fine. It's Ilan Ono's crazy specs. If you're crazy, you should wear them. The first big change is that the game defaults to the third person, though you can switch to the first person view. More importantly, you only control one squad and you cannot switch between team members. You just give orders and your compatriots of quiet death go from there. Suppressive fire! Affirmative. On me! See, in my fantasy world, people actually listen to me. Well, yes, I know. All you people that thought that Ghost Recon was the cat's pajamas are all on Twitter that the game has been allegedly dumbed down for us common folk. Well, go unstick the page as a soldier of fortune. The game is a whole lot more manageable. Plus, it's not like it really became all that easy. Taking a page from the Rumsfeld book of insufficient armor, a couple of shots and you're down. You are severely outnumbered. Ah, took one. You're a white boy in North Korea. You need to move carefully and look closely. So why not don a pair of crazy specs? Whether you're a dear leader or harmonically opaque, you're sure to look stupid. You do have some truly effective armaments. All right, not here. And they do give you a slight edge. But understand, this game is hard. Thankfully, you can save at any time. While there are 15 levels in the single player, the multiplayer is deep and will have you returning over and over. Both cooperative and competitive, its aim is tough realism and may be the only antidote to Halo 2's online action. <laughs> Though it isn't the cure for the jackasses. So if running and gunning doesn't really float your boat and you want a little thought put into how you kill those who are different, Ghost Recon 2 could truly be up your alley. Although the complexity and difficulty keep its appeal a little specialized. A four out of five. Well, congrats, Tom Clancy. A four out of five. There's another giant bag of money for you to roll around in. I'm sure he doesn't roll around in it. He'd probably invest it. If I gave you a bag of money, what would you do with it, Adam? Well, I wouldn't roll around in it. I'd swim through it, like this. Is that a swim thing? Up next! Sometimes it's good to be bad. In GoldenEye, Rogue Agent. All right, people, we all know what day it is. It's Tuesday. Our chance to do some good out there with our two times Tuesday pizza deal. Our chance to rescue people from the average, from the mundane. Now, let's show them what a free pizza can do. Let me get a hoo-ha two times Tuesday. Hoo-ha. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. It's two times Tuesday at Domino's. Buy any large pizza at regular menu price and get a second pizza of equal or lesser value free. Get the door. It's Domino's two times Tuesday. Hi. I was wondering if, if you would recommend an internet service provider. Uh, no ISP, huh? Here. Check this out. Netscape? Netscape Internet Service. You can get unlimited internet access for only $9.95 a month. Well, what about all those other low-cost guys, like... Don't you want an ISP that's fast, safer, reliable, and more secure? <laughs> then why waste your time with those no-name ISPs when you can get all these things from Netscape? For unlimited internet access and email, get Netscape Internet Service for only $9.95 a month. Your satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. Try Netscape Internet Service today and surf the web up to five times faster with Web Accelerator, all for no extra charge. Call 1-888-268-0350 or go online to getnetscape.com. Get these hot hip-hop sounds on your cell now. It's easy. 
Grab your cell, select messages, go to create message, and type in the keyword of your favorite sound. For the Rough Riders Anthem, text Ringer 13. To get gin and juice, text Ringer 14. And for Wangster, text Ringer 15. Finally, send it to 75555, and we'll send the tone directly to your cell. Every darn day, all I do is introduce Adam Zessler and Morgan Webb. Mm. Well, every darn day, all I say is welcome back to X-Play. Sometimes she says, we're really excited to review this next game. You no, know, we're really excited to review this next game. See? Well, back in 1997, a James Bond game called GoldenEye 007 came out for the N64. And it revolutionized first-person shooting for the consoles. There really hadn't been a good shooter on anything but the PC up until that point, and GoldenEye's developers, Rare Limited, delivered one of the most satisfying games to ever come out on the N64. Well, now, years later, EA, one of the best developers in the business, is bringing us a sequel. In it, you get to play a Bond villain. And the game begins with Bond himself getting deep six. Here's our review of GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Witness the death of the world's most renowned purveyor of the clandestine art of espionage. That's it? That's the end of the Martini Swill and Lothario with the license to kill? What a letdown. I mean, what if Jesus died by tripping over a Pekingese and hitting his head on a coffee table? Anyway, your character gets blamed for a Bond's demise, which seems sort of unfair because you were hit by a missile. You were directly responsible for the death of 007. So, Dame Judi Dench cans you from MI6. And naturally, you take out your frustration by joining the pernicious ranks of villainy. The new guy signing your checks is good old Goldfinger. That stout, bouncy sausage of evil is apparently not a bad guy after all. Besides, Goldfinger loves pussy. My name is Pussy Galore. <laughs> you look like you could use a ride. So, your remonikered golden eye. Your glistening viewport isn't just for looking at pussy, though. You look like you could use a ride. It also contains powerful, high-tech voodoo magic. In your eye are hacks that act as a shield, a thermal imager, and a tool that allows you to render enemies' weapons inoperable. Now, the original N64 GoldenEye was a seminal first-person shooter. Now, that might lead you to believe after seven years, with all of the improvements in gaming, that the title would respect the title's ample pedigree. Forget about it. There's just no excusing these dingy digital digs. No textures, weak incendiaries, cut-rate atmospheric effects. Come on, guys. These surfaces could really benefit from a gay hosted home improvement show. The environments are destructible, which is nice. But over time, its benefit wears off like so many flying shards of oriental tile. Levels are long, which really allows you to grow weary of the graphic-free game space. Aiming seemed random and inconsistent. Bullets almost had a life of their own. Shaken, not stirred. I can taste the difference, you cretin. The environments are fairly interactive, and the GoldenEye upgrades lighten the lugubrious load. Somewhat. The voice acting is faithful. Christopher Lee is resplendent in the gooey, hushed, dulcet tones of the evil. I'm Francisco Scaramanga. Your golden eye was built by one of my contacts. The idea of playing as the anti-Bond is clever, but we can't quite get the feeling of really being bad. Okay, that was kind of bad. You work for a bad guy, but you're simply killing more bad guys, making you sort of the good guy amongst bad guys. It's a tough illusion to impart in the first-person genre. Too tough for this current incarnation of the title. Aw, come on, guys. No jumping ability? Oh, Goldeneye. It's not that you're really a bad guy. You're just in a bad game. You look like you could use a ride. We give it a two out of five. See, this game was supposed to be awesome. Yes. So what the heck happened? More importantly, what the heck happened to EA this year? Yeah, EA used to be one of the best developers in the business. But in 2004, not only did EA turn out crud like GoldenEye Rogue Agent, Catwoman, and Lord of the uh, Rings, The Third Age. Their seemingly unsingable sports line also faced serious competition from ESPN's cheap but excellent sports games. And they got sued by their own employees for not paying overtime. And just when it looked like they were doing poorly, what did they do? So I did a five-year exclusive deal with NFL and now uh -huh. ESPN, SOL.
have to use the codes. B -B -A -B -B -A -B I've seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles naked. L1, L1, Zelda naked. Left, left, left. Mario, no pants. A, B, A, B. R1, R1, R1. Lakers, naked. Master Chief, Pittsburgh Steelers, Manchester United, but naked. R1, 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 R1. Get cheats and walk through strategies for Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. Don't worry, I'll get you over the hump. Cheat, tomorrow night at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Play. Hot Hobbit action in Lord of the Rings, the third age. Sims who would scandalize your...